one of the most compelling pieces of sculpture in cinematic history is the Darth Vader mask, as it appeared in the first three Star Wars movies. It made a big impression on me as a young child, and I've often longed to own an accurate replica made to full size. Now, I've brought some examples of uh, the various Darth Vader masks. Uh, this is the Don Post mask from the 1990s, and it is the Empire Strikes Back version, which is a very gleaming, glossy, pristine version. It has very soft features. It has a large chin vent. It has a very smooth peak on the dome. Recently, a company in Southern California... I interrupt you for just one brief second? Yes. You will die alone. <laughs> Continue. Recently, a company in Southern California called EFX Collectibles released a version of the 1977 mask and have made it available in very limited quantity. How did you find out that the new 1977 one was available? I routinely monitor the Star Wars community. And then one day you were probably sitting at your desk I'm gonna guess, in my office, not working for me, but scanning some Star Wars obscure helmet website when you got the word from your pal, JubJub86 at NerdNet, that, oh my gosh, the new helmets are in. Oh, the new helmets are in. Oh, the new helmets are in. Limited quantity. more or less what happened? These are benevolent pursuits that are positive and not harmful. I spend a long time and I get a lot of pleasure out of looking into this mask. What kind of pleasure? This one pleasure. Sensual? Sexual? Sensual in the sense that it's visual. Kinesthetic in the sense that it gives me a sense of satisfaction. Do you become aroused when you put on that helmet? Yes. What? Are you implying sexually aroused? That's what everyone thinks, yes. Aroused means... I'm not concerned with what other people think. I become aroused. I oh, do I, not... know, I know that you're not concerned with what other people think. That's quite apparent. Do you think it's possible, and just be honest, that while looking at this, you would ever pleasure yourself? I think possible. that's unlikely. Possible? Let me tell you, there is an implication of judgment here. No, there Are you isn't. a fan of art? Do you stare at art? Do you walk into a museum and stare at a sculpture or a painting? Why is this sculpture, which is sculpted by a British man named Brian Weir, why is this sculpture any less valid? I'm not than... saying it's invalid. I'm not, no, you're completely misunderstanding. Yeah. You're finding a judgmental tone to what I'm saying, which I did not intend. My question was very simple. When you're looking at this Halloween mask, you get a jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> no judgment there. Come on, man. I'm just having a little fun. Cheer up. Let's see the actual product, may we? I have kept it in its box. I am having a custom case built for me in uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, it will take many months for that case to be completed and arrive here in the United States. In the meantime, I have kept the product in its original box and have chosen not to take it out of the box in the interest of keeping it pristine and untouched. Okay. Can you open the box, please, and show it to us now? I can show you the box. Mm -hmm. uh, I can open the box. Yeah. Uh, I would not like us to be in a position where uh, the product can be at all damaged. I swear I won't do that. I promise you. Your definition of damage may differ from my definition of damage. I don't want your greasy fingerprints on the mask. Greasy? I what, is that? what is that? Is that like an anti-Irish slam? No, I don't want actually... your greasy, potato-chomping, wife-beaten mitts on it? Is that what you're saying? In fact, it's scientific fact. Our skin secretes oils. Those oils keep our body moisturized. In fact, oils trap a lot of the dirt that plagues us. The whole point of soap is it's an emulsifier right. that bonds the oil. I'm stopping you there, because I've been with you, and I know that you're going down a rabbit hole, and we're not coming out for six years. So you tell me what I need to do to see the mask and not sully it. So there you can see a uh, full-scale replica of the 1977 Darth Vader mask. 
Uh, notice the two-tone black gunmetal design on the face. Uh, quite a marvel of cinematic sculpting. You know, it looks exactly like the other ones I've seen. I don't think uh, your view on this matter is precise. May I remove it from the... Uh, no. No, you can't. Can you? Uh, no. No, I'd like to keep it uh, in the case, as I mentioned. That's it? You're not going to let us take it out? No, there's no reason. All right, let me ask you a question. Why am I wearing gloves if you're not going to let me even touch it? Due to your unpredictable nature, it seemed like a sign. <laughs> this is incredibly anticlimactic. We opened a box. We're looking at two pieces of plastic. We can't touch it. We can't display it. We can't assemble it. That's correct. So, this magic moment of television brought to you by Jordan Schlansky. <laughs> and please stop asking me. Everywhere I go, people ask me, is he real? He is 100% real. Yeah. That's him, okay? Yeah. Stop asking me.